Terran Command has informed us that Lieutenant Alex McCarthy, formerly stationed on board the GTD Intrepid, has defected to the Vasudans along with an unknown number of fighters and several personnel. He has also managed to steal the plans for the Avenger prototype cannon. These need to be recovered immediately. Vasudan agents under Terran control have leaked information regarding McCarthy's plans in the Antari system. Since the Galate is already in Antares, we have been assigned to lead an attack on McCarthy's forces. This operation is to be carried out by the numbers. Traitors to the Terran cause are not to be tolerated. McCarthy will serve as an example when he is brought in. The Galate has received a full complement of the new Valkyrie Interceptor fighters. Some of you may remember the Angel Scout fighter. It has been completely modified and fitted with two additional engines, making it the fastest fighter in the fleet. It has been redesignated the Valkyrie. It should enable you to make short work of enemy fighters. Report for mission briefing in 20 minutes. Hello and welcome back to our Free Space 1 Let's Play Poorly. Here we go. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Guess we have to continue on here. Plans for the Avenger weapon prototype have been stolen by Lieutenant McCarthy. His transport has been located here in Antares. It has been designated Omega. One of McCarthy's accomplices has been captured and has revealed his intentions for the stolen plans. Not surprisingly, McCarthy intends to sell the Avenger to the Vasudans. His Vasudan contact has been designated Rasputin. Your squadron will arrive before the exchange takes place. You are to destroy all hostile fighters, including any renegade Terrans. However, we want McCarthy alive. Your ships have been equipped with disruptors, suitable for disabling the engines on the Omega. Alpha Wing and Beta Wing, each consisting of four fighters, will be sent in to carry out the mission. You will jump in approximately six kilometers away from the exchange. Get to the Omega as soon as possible. Expect to encounter significant resistance. Beta Wing will focus on attacking the Vasudan forces. Alpha Wing will be expected to disable the Omega. Request Beta Wing's assistance if necessary. After McCarthy's transport is disabled, the GTT Comet will jump into the area and dock with it. You are to ensure the safety of the Comet, especially during the docking operation with Omega. After the Comet and the Omega have left the area, it is your responsibility to eliminate any remaining hostiles. Once the area is clear, you are to jump back to the Galate. Note that you will be required to engage Terran pilots. These pilots are traitors to the Alliance, and no quarter should be given. Thousands of lives are at stake. Do not hesitate to use deadly force on the traitors. They are your enemy. If you encounter significant resistance or experience severe losses, Delta Wing will be sent by Terran Command to assist. If further assistance is needed, call in Epsilon Wing as well. Good luck, pilot. Okay, let's see that this is going to work out. Uh, disable and capture the Omega. Destroy all enemy fighters. Okay, I... I don't know. Second mission in. This is seeming pretty complicated. All right. Alpha Wing here. Beta Wing ready. Going in hot. Target Omega's engines. McCarthy, you are ordered to power down. I answer to a higher authority. Fire at will, pilots. Don't you understand what happened to Ross 128? These are the least of our worries. Come on now. Great shot. I know I'm supposed to fight the other guy, but where is he? Could one of you fly boys give me some cover? That's an Ares. Come on now.
There he is. Switch to the disruptor. Disabled. Unless he's not yet. Is he disabled? I think so. Hang on. Oh shit. Didn't mean to do that. Wrong gun. God damn it. Omega there we go. Disabled. Jump in now. Omega has been disabled. GGG Comet here. Undocking approach to Omega. Enemy wing just arrived. Virgo is attacking the Omega. Protect Omega. Come on now, where is he? Is that just him? Alright. Dead in the water. Excellent. Okay. We are leaving system with Omega. I don't know if I should be killing this guy or not, but. Why not? The Omega has been captured. Come on now. Boom. Transport Rasputin has been destroyed. Now what? Return to base. All right. Hey, we did it. We were able to recover the Avenger prototype. Good job. McCarthy has been apprehended and will go to trial soon. The Rasputin and all of its contents were destroyed. Excellent work. It is very likely that key Vasudan personnel were on board. Okay. Oh, we don't have any... Oh, we don't have any other stuff. Oh, I guess... Absolutely eventually if the transport were captured. Oh, okay. Well, we did all right. Ours was a proud people, and always the strongest. For thousands of years, our empire expanded. For so long, we could imagine ourselves alone in the universe. For so long, never did we imagine advanced life. And we traveled faster and farther, spreading in our galaxy. And before long, we could see the day when our reachable systems would have been exploited. And then there would be nowhere else to go. 
and we discovered subspace. It gave us our galaxy, and it gave us the universe. And we saw other advanced life. And we subdued it, or we crushed it. In months, the elimination of billions of years of evolution on a similar but slower path. With subspace, our empire would surely know no boundaries. Interesting. With the Antari system nearly secure, Command has decided that the GTSC Plato will carry the prototype for the Avenger attack cannon through the Antari system. It will proceed to the Ribo system where production of the Avenger will begin. Intelligence has determined that only one Vasudan cruiser remains in this system, the Taurus. If the Vasudans decide to attack the Plato on its way to Ribos, they will certainly use the Taurus. The number of Vasudan attack craft in this system is minimal. Intelligence estimates at most two strike squads. If something should go wrong, the Plato is equipped with an escape pod. The escape pod will attempt to make the subspace jump to Ribos. Alpha Wing will provide cover for the Plato, and if necessary, the Plato's escape pod. The safety of the prototype is vital, and all the Sudan threats must be eliminated. Pay special attention to any Vasudan bombers that may arrive. Bombers will be the greatest threat to the Plato during this operation. When you've cleared the area of hostile bombers, eliminate other threats and continue escorting the Plato to the inner system subspace node. All right, escort the Plato. Oh, look at you, you beautiful thing. My target. There we go. No, all fighters. Come on now. Breaking to attack. Shivens, but I don't know that technically. I mean, I know it, but I don't know it because I am 
not privy to the cutscenes. <laughs> Taurus. Can't get any kind of a lock on them. Oh, there was something. Uh, it's a debris. Integrity's dropping. I gotta get out of here. Affirmative, sir. Protect that target. Good. This is the Plato's crew. We're in an escape pod. Cover us. I'm working on it. Target them, shit. What the hell? Nope. No locks of any kind. Okay. The crew of the Plato made the jump. Return to the Galate. Oof. That was rough. From your ship's sensors records, it appears there was little you could have done to protect the Plato. Its loss will be mourned, but at least her crew is safe. Intelligence has analyzed the data you provided from the attempted visual identification. There is no record of such ships. They do not appear to be Vasudan. The conclusion is that they belong to a new species. These ships are not detectable by our sensors. Worse, they appear to have some type of energy shielding system, making them nearly immune to our attacks. But the greatest concern is their weapons. They are more powerful than anything in the GTA or VPE arsenal. We believe the data you gathered will prove valuable in discovering a weakness in this new adversary. In all of their recent attacks in Terran space, not one of these unknown fighters has been destroyed. It is hoped that a weakness will be found soon. Yikes. Okay. How did we do? Uh, 15% primary hit percentage. Wow, that sucks. Um, 
All right, well, let's see what we got. Let's see what's next. Terran Command has confirmed the existence of a new species. Until further contact is established, Command has designated them Sheevans. The Sheevans have inflicted heavy casualties to both Terran and Vasudan forces in the Beta Cygni and Vega systems, and appear to be making a rapid push into other key systems along the Terran Vasudan front. All contact has been lost with our forces in the IKEA and Ross 128 systems. The Vasudan government has contacted the GTA and proposed a ceasefire. Considering the reports regarding the Vasudan and Terran losses to the Shivans, this should not come as a surprise. Terran Command has not yet responded. I expect to hear more from Terran Command on this later today. All Shivan forces should be considered a serious threat. You are authorized to engage any Shivan ship that stands in the way of your mission objectives. Attempts to establish communication with the Shivans have failed. Intelligence will continue its attempts to learn more about this new adversary. What little information has been learned about Shivan technology concerns their fighter shielding system. The shield system makes them nearly impervious to our ML-16 laser. R&D is currently modifying the Avenger prototype cannon to make it more useful against the shields. Additionally, our fighters cannot target their ships due to our lack of data regarding the Shivan electronic systems. Plans are currently underway to remedy this situation. Terran Intelligence is working around the clock to give us more information. Until then, we have been ordered to move into the Beta Cygni system and monitor any activity. Due to increased encounters with Shivan forces, Terran Command has ordered the Galate to the Beta Cygni system to monitor Shivan activity. The Galate has taken quite a beating since her last repair. There isn't time to follow the safest route. The Antares Beta Cygni jump node lies in the center of a dense asteroid field, making it one of the least used jump nodes in the galaxy. Standard procedure would have us circumvent this node completely, requiring two jumps. Now we have no choice. Weapon systems have taken damage from enemy bombers. Galate should be able to make it through the asteroid field, but Alpha Wing will be deployed to destroy approaching asteroids. Alpha Wing will fly point for the Galatea and destroy any asteroids that cross its flight path. Asteroids that are considered a threat to the Galatea will be marked by white targeting brackets. Destroy these asteroids first. Once the Galatea has jumped out, you are to report to the GTD Bastion stationed in Antares. The Bastion will take you to Ikea for your next mission. Your wing will rendezvous with the Galate and Beta Cygni upon completion of that mission. In the event of enemy attack, you are to cover the Galate's escape from the system at any cost. Okay, I am going to resist the, uh, the impulse to make a joke about Ikea, but... Uh, Alright, so we need to keep it going. Keep it alive. Asteroids. asteroids on a collision path with the Galatea will be auto-targeted with white brackets on your HUD. See any? Are they shootable? Any? Any of them shootable? Okay, they are. That so will just uh, do this. Oh, there was one. More hawks incoming. Help me out, Alpha 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. Where the heck are they? Come on now. Someone's throwing them at us. Like, how the hell are they moving that fast? Coming from. They're just coming out of nowhere. Fighters, engage enemy. Yes, sir. No targets. Oh my god. And there's rocks. No. Oh, fuck. Now, 
We are hitting it. Ooh. Oh, I'm inside you now. That's weird. Damn it. The Galatea is okay. beta Signi. Return to the Bastion. <sighs> well, we did okay. Welcome to the GTD Bastion. We just received a transmission from the Galatea. She's doing fine, and the bridge thanks you for the skillful escort through the field. You will rendezvous with her in the Beta Cygnus system soon. We are currently underway to the IKEA system for your next mission. We're gonna buy some furniture. All right, statistics. Oh, all right, 30% hits, there we go. Secondary hits, 26%. Those are my missiles that I was firing off. Those were dumb fire missiles, the Furies. Okay, we did all right, it looks like, ish. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this time. Thanks for watching. See you next time.